he'll be here soon. Another of the devices was a seismometer. Have you cleaned your room yet? I can't, Mom. I'm busy. Busy? You know he'll be here any minute. Now clean your room. But, Mom, I'm doing an experiment on chaos theory. Don't touch that. Great prediction. Or unknown at the What do you an experiment do? It's... It's Bill Nye the Science Guy. Brought to you by the do-it-yourself science kit. Simple experiments you can do at home. New from DIY Sci. Science is wonderful. It's in everything we see, feel, and touch. Science is how we learn about the world. With science, we found out that all of our food comes from plants. And plants make their own food from air, water, and sunlight. By watching clouds drift and ice melt, we discovered that matter exists in only three phases. We found out that dinosaurs once roamed the Earth. By looking closely at rocks, we learned that our sun is a star, just like all the other stars in the sky at night, by watching them rise and set every day. We watched shadows and figured out that our world is a spinning ball. We invented clocks. There are a lot of experiments that you can do at home to learn about huge scientific ideas. You don't need a special lab. Your lab can be anywhere, because science is something we do all the time, everywhere we go. And then we'll go into spot bowling and picking up the fair. Elizabeth? Uh, I'd like to spend just a very few minutes reviewing the point. Not only that, scientific principles hold true everywhere we go. That's right. A good science experiment is repeatable. <laughs> Try this. Get a big bowl and fill it with ice water. Now, get a two-liter pop bottle with its cap and fill this with very hot water. <laughs> Ooh, uh, ow, hot. Let the bottle sit for a few moments. Now dump the hot water out and put the cap on fast. I mean, right now, lickety split. And put the bottle in the icy cold bowl. Look, the bottle collapsed. Now why is that? Well, when you dump the water out, it's not filled with air. It's filled with an invisible gas, water vapor. And when you cool it, the water vapor turns to liquid water. Now, liquid water takes up hardly any room at all compared with water vapor. So the air in the atmosphere crushes the bottle like a giant's fist. <laughs> anyway, the atmosphere is big. So the effect is big. Come with me. Warm air takes up more space. It expands. Cool air takes up less space. Cool air contracts. Take a look at this. It's our great big 
atmospheric container crushing experiment of science. But now, instead of using a plastic bottle from the kitchen, we'll use this big metal drum. First, we lower it onto the heat. Kids, this barrel thing can be dangerous, so stick to the pop bottle, okay? Then we put in a little water. Now, we wait while the water boils and the steam drives all the air from inside the metal drum. That ought to do it. Hmm. Now, we take it off the heat. And we seal it up with this. It's called a bung. And that hole would be the... Now all we gotta do is cool it off. it like a giant fist. A good experiment is repeatable. It's science! That's liquid air boiling at a temperature of 190 degrees below zero centigrade. Now, I know you're not used to seeing air as a liquid, but uh, temperature and pressure determine the form and shape of most substances. You'll also see the effects that uh, are Dad? obtained by uh, using uh, very cold yes, son? Uh, liquid air. Does and air have other pressure? On objects that are not Honey? ordinarily associated with them. Maybe there's an experiment but we can...